guitar is my instrument. It affords me incredible scope. The guitar is, is literally the tool to obtain sort of the harmonic voicing of what underpins the track. I'm Ian Archer. I'm a songwriter, producer, and artist based in Brighton. I do like writing with other people. What always gets me is that the result is always really different. I try hard to to make it sound more like something that I would do on my own, or at least I used to do that. The best thing to do is to let go of that and to not be worried if it doesn't sound like something that you would normally write. Uh, my name is Rui Butler and I am a singer-songwriter from Edinburgh. <laughs> that looks cool, man. Love that. Yeah, you could fire about with that all day, couldn't you? Oh, no. I first met Rory when he was a toddler, <laughs> effectively, and I was making my first record. So Rory was the son of Steve Butler, who is a fantastic record producer in Scotland. I collaborated with them in some recordings. They had this great studio in their house. We'd eat breakfast together, we'd hang out, had a great time with those guys. Little realising that Rory was going to become equally as guitar obsessed as, as I had been, you know? I really like working with Ian. The long time that we've known each other makes these things easier because it's a bit like sitting down with a friend. I think one of Ian's great skills is that you feel relaxed enough in his presence to, to allow yourself to not be self-conscious and do something. And I don't know how he does it, but it always gets something out of you somehow. always starts with the guitar. I know some people that write songs that already have a vocal you know melody in their mind before they get started and then you know they just play chords along to that but because my songs are always really guitar-y songs for me normally start with that guitar part. Because I have a kind of a sort of intimate relationship with the instrument you know for, for, for many many years uh, ideas spill out. Because you're always an interplay with whatever instrument you're writing on. It's like there's a relationship happening, isn't it? There's a conversation between you and the instrument, and you're responding to the opportunities it gives you to, to go somewhere new, you know. So heck, guitar is, yeah, I'm inseparable, you know. It's, 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 it's a limb, <laughs> if not all of them sometimes. <laughs> First bit of melody, I'm happy with that. There goes. And then. Can we go? And then we go. Straight to that after the two chord. Yeah. Lyrics are just very random. I'll be playing the guitar 
and whatever melody I end up singing over it. Certain words or lines would fit into that melody well and key words would come out and then before you know it there is a sentence there. It's quite gradual, like the, the next line will be related in some way to the, the one before it and so it will go on until there's some kind of sensical song. I would remember. Trying to bed that. Alright. From the top of a, like the chorus. Oh. What you can hear when you're hearing a really good piece of music, even if you don't like the music that you're listening to, if you can hear a performance in it, a meant performance, that will move you in some way. I'm a big believer in the fact that if you've got a certain short time and space, there is an impetus to complete something. Testing. All right, here we go. Yeah. He had his head in his hand. And King Lotham to stand. He had the world in his hand. With me, normally songs happen very gradually. And so when you've finished it and you record it, there's a positive feeling. And there's sadness in the light, but I call the light. Singing love alone, never alone. We wrote words in about 25 minutes. I feel like that's actually a really positive thing, to be impulsive. But I feel like we've, we've created something that's a whole picture. I'm really genuinely like a fortunate person. I kind of get to work in rooms with people like Rory Butler, phenomenally talented people who, who are happy enough to come in and uh, go on a sonic and lyrical excursion with me. I got a nylon string guitar when I was five, four or five, and I do remember being embarrassed for getting told off for strumming strings and who knows what tuning they were in you know, something horrible, no doubt, and kind of wailing over the top of it. And I suppose in some sort of way that is songwriting. It's not unlike what we were doing for some of the day. 